I think now is the time. Um, students are ready. Um, I think the, the Jacksonville community is ready. I think the nation is ready. Ready to take this generation to a higher level, the Change Project is all about creating hope to advance the next generation to excellence. Back in 2009, when Heather Carter first had the vision, she knew it wouldn't be an easy road, but one that was worth it, leading kids down the path to success. I went to this business to really help our students. The majority of our, our kids are, are really just trying to find their place. And so if we have the patience that we can kind of help with the students and, and work with the students, they may not get that same patience at home. They definitely won't get that patience at school. The Change Project challenges students by preparing them for higher education. We require the students to look into scholarship applications, scholarship research, college research, because they sometimes go to schools and they just like the football team or they like the colors. But what about the, the program that you want to do when you get out of school? Keeping teenagers on the right track is easier said than done. With, with teenagers, it's more of a relationship, not a, I told you so, you better get this done. You gotta, you gotta cultivate the relationship, and I think that's the beauty of what we will do. Because this is a free service, funding is needed to support the growth and expansion of this program. One of my visions is for the Change Project is to have this community center, but also to have satellite programs at, the, at high schools. So if we have satellite programs at high schools, then you now have a person on campus where all they have to do is after school, come over there and meet with that one person, and they will get them now acclimated to navigating the college admissions process. The Change Project encourages you to be a supporter today and so into this next generation. I've seen high school students graduate with great, great potential who are still at home, and it hurts me to my heart. I want them to see their potential, and I want them to move past their potential.